marks the end of an era for Stars and Stripes Honor Flight. Take a look at this. A water cannon salute this morning at Mitchell International Airport. More than 200 World War II vets are on that Delta 757. This is the 17th Honor Flight out of Milwaukee and will be the last flight exclusively for World War II veterans. The next Honor Flight coming up in June will include Korean War vets in addition to World War II veterans. Now, I was privileged to speak with four of those men just before takeoff. My name is Andy Nestline. I live in Pewaukee, and I was in the United States Navy on a U.S. torpedo boat. Stephen Hodges. I was uh, in the Navy. Uh, Bob Whitcup. I uh, live in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, and uh, I was in the Army, the 90 millimeter anti-aircraft. <laughs> And uh, we started out in England, France, Germany, Belgium. I lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I, uh, were, I served in the United States Navy for uh, six years. Well, I tell you, the most probably one of the most scariest was the, when we first got in, uh, got into uh, uh, Normandy and went, and went up the bank there, and of course the first thing. We just stopped it, got a little ways up. The beach was secure, fortunately. Well, thanks to my, I don't know who did this, my family members did. It was a surprise to me as a birthday present, which I'll be 91, 91 years old next month. So and I served on two ships. And I was in China and Oran, southern France, and invasion of Italy and that. So. I seen it and I saw death. I didn't do any service overseas, but I had a job. I used to travel all over the country with people that were being transferred because they needed a medical technician with them. Mm -hmm. And they don't they didn't fly them those days. We went on trains. Mm -hmm. That's more fun, riding trains. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got to ride trains all over the US. The worst time was on a ship uh, going to the Philippines when the ice cream machine broke down. <laughs> to go on this flight today, what does that mean to you? It means a lot to me that uh, I served, I lost a brother in Pearl Harbor. That's one of the reasons I joined. I joined when I was 17. Mm -hmm. I was out of service before I was 20. <laughs> so you're one of the young guys. I'm one of the younger fellow. It's it's really really a, a pleasure to go on it, and I'm really looking forward to it. And it's, I'm certainly thankful for the for uh, all you volunteers that are are uh, made this possible. It's it's really really like like going back to meet old friends and and old acquaintances and things that uh, go over things, ar army things that <laughs> that uh, you appreciate, really. I'm amazed because I had no idea that it would be such a absolutely incredible reception. So I'm totally impressed. <laughs> so I'm glad I joined the Navy with the day I turned 17. So those veterans en route to spend the day in Washington, D.C., where they will visit the World War II Memorial, among other sites. Then tonight, a really incredible experience back here in Milwaukee. Thousands of family members are expected at Mitchell Airport for a homecoming parade. You're invited to. I'd really encourage you to check this out if you've never done this before. Be at the airport tonight by 8 p.m. for that emotional homecoming parade.